Hello everyone, Dave Ferricks from Click here, and today we're going to talk about SAP Analytics on Google BigQuery, using Click Data Integration Services to move and synchronize data from SAP into Google BigQuery. So let's discuss some of the background with Click, Replicate, and SAP. Well, you might not have known, but Replicate has been supporting BigQuery for over two years. And when we talk about support of SAP, we support all the major modules, including ECC, ERP, CRM, Global Trade, as well as S4 HANA, with any of the backends, HANA, Oracle, SQL Server, or DB2. Now, we support HANA by ODBC connection as either extraction or as a target. Uh, we also support the transparent clustered and pools table. And for these SAP modules, we support all the applications within those modules. The roadmap also for SAP this year is quite aggressive as we will continue to add new improvements to replicate as the year progresses. So let's take a quick look inside of Google BigQuery Console. What we're going to see here is we've got a project with a little bit of sample data in it, but we're going to use this as our target to write our SAP tables into uh, from our SAP system. So let's quickly go ahead and move over and start the process. To begin, let's go ahead and launch into our Tunity Replicate server. Uh, when we get into our Tunity Replicate server, we're going to go ahead and start by creating a new task, which will allow us to come in and start the process of moving our SAP data into Google BigQuery. We're going to go ahead and give it a name, SAP to Google BigQuery. We're going to use both full load and apply changes. The apply changes will mean that the data is synchronized with BigQuery and SAP, so as new transactions occur in SAP, they will get pushed into BigQuery. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and start the process of building the data set. Now I happen to have an SAP ERP application over here uh, that we're going to go ahead and use, and I will drop that in. And we're going to go ahead and create a new target endpoint. So that target endpoint uh, is going to give us a ability to connect up to Google BigQuery. And it's very, very, very easy to set this up. So we go ahead and we choose our name, we pick our target, we pick Google BigQuery, I will go ahead and paste in the information from my service account key related to this project which I was showing. I will test that connection. Test succeeded. I will hit save. And I will add that new Google BigQuery entity as my output uh, for my replicate job. At this point, we're going to have to do a couple of different things. Uh, we're going to go ahead and choose our tables. So for our data set that we're looking at here, we're going to come in and choose our sales and distribution data. We'll go ahead and search that really quickly. We'll go ahead and add all the tables out of the uh, sales and distribution model to copy over and synchronize. <clears throat> but because of the nature of Google BigQuery, we're going to have to do a couple of transformations. So the first thing is Google BigQuery does not like having spaces. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and run a global transform uh, to go ahead and change that. So we're going to rename our schema. Uh, so any schema name that we have in there uh, is like the a-click and then we'll go ahead and put a ampersand after that or a percent sign after that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and rename it to SAP Sales and Distribution. So that job will transform all of our schemas and remove all the spaces and uh, create into something that Google BigQuery is okay with. Now there's one other transformation we're going to have to go ahead and add here, and this comes down to working with our columns. So we're going to have to rename columns that have certain entities in them. So we're going to choose everything. And what we've got to do is use an expression to change this parsing. So when we have a column name, we're going to need to come over and do a function. And that is called a replace function. And what we have to do is take the column names from the SAP system, some of which are uh, strangely named. For example, uh, there are tables that have uh, slashes in them and that's not okay so we're gonna go in with any table that has a slash in it and we're gonna change it to an underscore so for example in this in this uh, expression what we would do is we would say let's say we have something called XYZ uh, 
or close to that, uh, with the name of something like S01. And what we will do now is replace that into an underscore, uh, as Google BigQuery does not like having those, uh, those slashes in there. So we've now created our jobs that are going to rename the schema, removing the spaces and the custom characters, and we're also going to run a job to transform the columns that have the slashes in them to an underscore. One last setting before we can go ahead and start the process of running the job is now that we've identified our new schema, we need to make sure that Replicate knows to write to that schema. So we'll go ahead and make sure that we are writing to that tar target schema. All right, at this point, now that we have made all of these changes, we're going to go ahead and start the process of loading data. We can now see the fact that the data is starting to load into BigQuery from our SAP system. And we'll go ahead and speed this up now so that we can watch the rest of the process. Now that our data has been loaded, let's go see what is inside of Google BigQuery. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our console, and we see now that we actually have a new schema, the SAP underscore SD, and if we open that up, we will see that we have all of our tables that have been loaded over. So let's go ahead and take a look at something like KNA1, and we'll go ahead and move that over and do a select from, and we'll say KNA1 here. Go ahead and run that table, and we will indeed see the fact that we have gotten our SAP data. There we go. With our data now loaded, let's go ahead and take a count of our customers and our customer master here. For those who are not familiar with it, KNA1 is the customer master from sales and distribution. So let's go ahead and get a record count here. So we're going to come over and just for the purposes of this demo, take a select count uh, star from this and see how many records we have in here. So this will run for a second. And we can see that we've got 17, uh, 19,788 customers. Now that we've verified the data here, let's go ahead and go back to the Attunity Replicate console and we're going to watch the change processing. <clears throat> At this point, we've got the original data loaded, but we want to understand what happens as new records come in and how Attunity keeps that information synchronized. So with that, we're going to come over to our SAP console here and we're going to go in and add some new records. So we do this using the SAP Gold Client uh, from uh, Attunity. <clears throat> clear that out as well and we'll get a list of some of the new files that we have here. So we're going to go ahead and go into some of these records and we're going to just go ahead and say we've got a new set of transactions and we can go ahead and choose those individually if we want uh, and we'll just go ahead and say go ahead and execute that in the foreground. So we're going to go ahead <clears throat> and start the process of loading this information, uh, running these jobs behind the scenes, adding new data into our sales transaction as if uh, new transactions were currently coming in. And we'll wait for SAP to uh, start the job here and keep an eye on what's going on with Replicate over here on the side that is going to be looking for those new transactions. As we can see, the SAP job is still running, but we're seeing new transactions starting to fill up the queue. So this happens that we're detecting the new transactions that are coming in here. We'll go ahead and sort that. So we're starting to get that information coming into the various tables as that SAP job runs in the background. <clears throat> so this job will take a little bit to run as we uploaded several thousand transactions, but we can see this information as it starts to float through the different tables and percolate uh, through the OLTP system that is SAP R3. And we'll go back now and check and see if those records have indeed come and loaded into our SAP system. And we can see that they have. So we went from 88 to, uh, from, uh, 88 to 797 as those different records have come in. Information. So KNA1, we can see that we actually inserted 40, we deleted 31. So that was a, there was a net change there of about nine records, which uh, is exactly what we saw. So this was the process now of, of uh, keeping SAP synchronized with BigQuery in real time. I want to thank everybody for taking some time to watch a video here on integrating SAP analytics with click
Replicate and Google BigQuery for real-time data analytics. Uh, thank you again. Uh, for more information, visit my YouTube channel here listed. As uh, If you have any questions, also come visit us on the Click Community link listed below. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.